Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Carrie Smoot with the Village Spa. And I'm Michael Burgess with the Technical College of the Lowcountry. And today we are here in the town of Port Royal and we are at their Wetlands Amphitheater. Yes. Which is a very cool little place. It is really cool. They have this nice uh, rookery. You can probably see the egrets. Are those egrets? Back there You're asking the, the wrong there? person. <laughs> I, There's a I lot think of birds. they are, yes. <laughs> it is a great, great, lovely place. Yes, and you great can walk all the way around it, and it's a really neat project. But our first guest today, her name is Miss Donna Baker, and she is here with TCL, and she's going to give us some information about the Accelerate Grant Program, which is a great opportunity for anyone that's kind of maybe not knowing which direction to go. Yep. Good stuff. And then, of course, we'll talk with Joe Lee with the Town Council of Port Royal. He's going to give us an update on uh, the Wetlands Project, some uh, celebration that they have coming up, because uh, it's a one-year anniversary of that project. Yeah. Yep. And last but not least, we have Mr. David Carter. He is the co-owner of Buck, Bass and Beyond, which is a really cool outdoor <laughs> store. And he gives you some great ideas and things to do with your kids or with your friends, whatever. <laughs> Indeed. So make sure that you stay tuned and we'll be right back with more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where TCL comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where Port Royal comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where three or three associates comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We are here now with Miss Donna Baker. She is with the Technical College of the Low Country and she is the South Carolina Accelerate Program Coordinator. How are you today? Just fine and you? Doing good. So start off by telling everybody what is this South Carolina Accelerate Grant Program? The grant program is a part of a six college consortium that uh, provides wraparound services for our participants that will assist them in obtaining um, a certificate um, to a diploma level. Also, it assists people in pursuing um, or obtaining employment and retaining their employment. That's interesting. Who's eligible to, to participate? Um, participants are the TAA, which are the Trade Adjustment um, Act participants, and those are people whose um, jobs have been affected by foreign competition. Um, WIA, which is the Workforce Investment Act, um, adult and dislocated workers are also eligible. Um, we also allow veterans and their dependents, as well as anyone 25 and above who is unemployed or underemployed. Nice. And what are the benefits of this program? Sounds great. The benefits of the program primarily is to assist um, the participants in gaining entry into college. It also provides assessment um, for career choices and things of that nature, career pathways. Um, other benefits to the program would be um, counseling and other supports that the college would be able to provide as well as resources within the community. So Donna, you know, I'm sitting at home, I'm watching this program, and I'm hearing what you're saying, and it sounds really, really uh, good and interesting to me. What is the enrollment process? How does a person get uh, involved? Initially, for the, the trade and the WIA um, participants, as well as the veterans, they would need to contact their representatives for those particular um, programs. The trade, they would automatically know who their um, workforce um, specialist person would be and they would start the process there and ensure that they are certified um, to be able or eligible to start the program. And beyond that, if we have students that are currently enrolled at TCL, um, then they would just need to stop by the office and either speak with Mr. Joseph Hose, who is the Accelerate Counselor. His number is 525-8485. Or they could speak with me, Donna Baker, and my number is 525-8339. Okay. And, and we'll put those numbers up on the screen. When you say trade, what trades typically would be involved in, in this program? Any trade. Okay. Um, 
whatever the person would like to pursue. Um, the grant initially was focused on advanced manufacturing. However, we have to look at our particular um, area, our region, and assist our participants in um, pursuing whatever is available for them in this area. Okay. And, and just so folks know, we're shooting in beautiful Port Royal, and, and folks are working, <laughs> and life goes on. And some of those. It's yes. Exactly. Exactly. So it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So, what are the benefits to? the business and industry? The, bu the benefit to business and industry, first of all, they're getting a well-qualified and well-trained workforce through um, the program. The second part would be that um, we would be able to connect with internships and apprenticeships um, and allow our participants to actually gain training and on-the-job type experience um, while they're completing their certificates and degrees. And the third part would be that we're focusing on or attempting to provide um, this region with um, a wraparound si um, system of, um, I'm sorry, a wraparound, wraparound services that affect our workforce um, system. Well, I'm sure this is incredibly important right now because with the economy, you always hear people saying, you know, I've done this my whole life. I don't know where else to go and I'm too old to go to school. Right. I always tell people you're never too old to go to school. <laughs> so Donna, what, uh, which campuses do you work with? Both campuses? We work with all of the campuses, whatever the service delivery area is for um, the Technical College of the Low Country, which would include um, the Buford campus, the main campus, the New River campus in Bluffton, the Hampton campus, which is the Mungin Center, oh, okay. and Colleton Workforce Center in Walterboro. So we would work with all of our campuses. And your office is where? I'm housed on the Buford campus. You see the river? You get to overlook the river? As a matter of fact, I'm in the best place minus the river. I'm in the chapel. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> now, I know this is a, a, a new program uh, at TCL, but you've done work similar to this before. Tell us a little bit about your background. Yes. Um, Initial, I come to you all from the Department of Employment and Workforce, so I have a strong background in workforce development, which complements um, what we're trying to accomplish with the grant. Prior to that, I have um, several years of technical college um, experience, work experience, in the state of Georgia. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so anybody that has any questions or wants any information can go to TCL's website. Yes, they can, backslash accelerate. Okay, -C -C so it's tcl.edu, correct? Yes, back, yes, backslash accelerate. All right, well, thank you very much for being with us today, and we'll be right back with more 843 TV.